Hi guys, Ava has bronchitis. Wow, she's sicky. Um, I want to say something. What? I love you. Aw, we love you too. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to let you guys look at this while I talk for a minute. I've been tagged in the Get to Know You Tag Challenge by Marla H. Hi, Marla. Um, Hi, Marla. <sighs> So, um, I wrote down the questions. They might be a little out of order, but I have them all. The first is, what's your YouTube name and real name? My YouTube name is Enchanted Steph, and that came about by, it used to be Ench Enchanted Cookies, and I had spelled it wrong with an M instead of an N, and they wouldn't let me fix it. So, when I had to get a new channel, um, I wanted people to be able to find me easily, so I kept the M, as people knew me from that, and did Enchanted Steph. My real name is Stephanie. Um, they can't see it. It's got to be down here, honey. Next is, how did you start crafting in your first crafty memory? Um, first is, uh, my aunt from Alabama used to come down at Christmas when I was a kid and visit, and she's really into crafting and stuff, and we would make Christmas ornaments, and that's how it started, and then I got really into art in high school, and then after high school went to Moore College of Art and Design in Philadelphia. And then after that, um, I, you know, just kind of, <coughs> oh baby, I messed around with art and <coughs> different medias. And then a few years ago, I started getting into paper and origami and, you know, stuff like that, party decorations. And then uh, last year, I looked on YouTube for inspiration and found all the, the crafty community. Hi, quiet for a minute. And saw all these cards and scrapbooking layouts and tried it, my hand at it and fell in love. So that's how that got started. What is my craft style? Um, I jump around a lot. I, I do a lot of the cutesy um, scene cards. And then I also do some clean and simple cards. Sometimes I do vintage. Sometimes I do shabby chic. I, I jump around a lot. So, But a lot is cutesy scenes. And then clean and simple ones, too. <clears throat> What's my favorite crafty brand? Well, <laughs> um, well, it kind of, I guess, would go by what products, because I love so many brands. If I'm looking for pattern paper, I love October Afternoon, Echo Park, of course, My Mind's Eye, and American Crafts. Inks, I love Paper Tray Ink, the new Stampin' Up! Foam Pads, Memento, Jenny Bolin, Tim Holtz Distress Ink, Cardstock. Paper tray ink card bases for cards all the way. They have awesome card stock. Okay, hold on. Let me just... Okay, in a second. You showed them your knees already last video. Um, stamps. Oh, Lord. You guys know my stamp. Uh, for girl stamps, I love La La Land uh, and CC Designs. But Some Odd Girl is coming up there, too, to be like a third favorite. Um, regular stamps, uh, for my, you know, scenes and stuff. I love Lawn Fawn and Paper Smooches for sentiments. I love Amy R, Paper Tray Ink, Hero Arts for my stamps with matching dies, Paper Tray Ink, and Lawn Fawn. Uh, next question. <coughs> Bless you. What do you want to try that you haven't done yet? I would have to say mini albums and mixed media. I've, I've also... Because I really want to try both of those, and I haven't done either. I also want to get more into altering things. I've only altered, like, two boxes, and that's it, and I want to do that more. Ah, uh, favorite YouTube channels. Jeez. As everyone said, that's a hard question. I love all of them for different reasons. Um, you know, I love getting inspiration from Amy R., Paper Prairie, and Ink. She's got such great cards. Um, i got to watch my girl, Diane, D. Valenz, 145. Um... Steph10892, she's the one that got me into scene cards, so I always look for her videos. I love her scene cards. She is the reason I made my first one, and I'm so grateful for that. I love Marla H., Nurse Laurel, Star of May, Be a Crafty Girl, everybody. Um, You know, Star of May has great tips. Be a Crafty Girl has great hauls and great cards, and she's so funny. Nurse Laurel has beautiful projects, and... Such a funny laugh. Marla H. has super cute cards. And I, there, there's so many. Oh my gosh, so many. Okay, but I love you all. Um, next, if you only had $10 in your pocket, what would you buy? If I 
if I didn't have a coupon or sales, I'd probably get, you know, some bling, some adhesive, and trims or lace. If I did have coupon and sales, I'd probably get one Copic, an embossing powder, and I don't know, probably something out of the clearance bin. Uh, next, what would you, what would you be if you weren't a crafter? I'd probably be a veterinary technician because before I had Ava, I was a vet tech for years, probably about eight to ten years I was a vet tech at two different vets and then when I got pregnant I stopped and now I've been doing um, medical transcribing okay honey I'll be right there. I did medical I've been doing medical transcribing from home right now but once she starts school um, full-time next year and I'll you know, depending on the situation with taking care of my dad and stuff, I'll probably still do that for a while, the medical transcribing, but eventually, if I'm able to, I'd love to go back to being a veterinary technician. I just love animals. I also have my wildlife rehabilitation license, um, which I used to take wild animals in all the time, but now that I have Ava, I don't, um, but she's getting a little older now, so we'll see. Okay. Next, sorry I'm going fast, it's, she doesn't feel good and I don't know how much time I'll have. <laughs> what item pulls your project together? Well, I have, when I have all my pieces on the card, it's either like a great sentiment or embellishments, but at the end of every card I make, I always end up adding a mix or one of the Next items I say, stickles, gel pen, glaze pen, glitter pen, or glossy accents. I always, always end up adding one or some of those items to a card. What one item would you suggest to a new crafter to get? Well, I'm going to assume that they have the basics of cardstock, adhesive, and trimmer. So, hmm, that's tough. I'd say maybe like a scoreboard and a bone folder or Tim Holtz scissors because that's those items I use every day. I definitely use my Tim Holtz scissors every single day. Um, so that's it and I am going to tag I'm going to tag four people just in case one of those have already been tagged. I'm going to tag Diane, D. Valenz, 145, Carol, My2D's1, uh, Renee, Stampalicious, NL, and Olga, Miss Eniona. So you gals have been tagged. You're it. So thanks everyone for watching and I'll be right back. I have a mail haul and a big paper tray ink April order. Thanks for watching. Bye.